Well, my cheap supermarket drill has finally given up the ghost. Nothing. Charge battery doesn't work. Something's gone wrong with it. Now this is not my main drill, it's a backup drill, but it's worked really hard and always been quite reliable. So what do we do? Do we throw it in the bin? Or do we crack it open and see if we can fix it? I think we should have a go at fixing it. At least attempt to anyway. At least we'll make an interesting video and see what's inside. So let's have a look. Put the battery to the side. Let's take out all the screws. Put a bit of uh, tack on the side to pop the screws in so we don't lose them. these cheap drills is the drill ends up working fine still even after lots of abuse it's just the battery that goes and you, know, you end up throwing the drill away because it's too ex well you can't get a battery for a first start because it's it's not a, a known brand and um, you end up throwing the drill away because it doesn't you can't get the battery for it what I've done in the past is solder wires in there and just used it on the car battery or on the cigarette lighter well, I think that's the screws out. Spirit level fell out. Right, we know that the motor works fine. So, the MOSFET over here could have failed. Maybe the sliding contact in here isn't working as it should. Maybe it needs cleaning. Let's test the MOSFET out. Okay, let's get the meter out and have a quick look. That does not bode well. Shouldn't have continuity across everything. So let's uh, let's take the MOSFET out of circuit. That way we'll know if it's the circuit that's affecting the continuity. It could be that the, the in circuit is giving us a strange reading, but it sounds like there's a, it's shorted out the MOSFET. So it's probably gone. Let's see. Right, so the first leg is the gate and then it's the drain and the source. It's a little bit off of my poor little soldering iron. Right. It looks from the internet this is a 60 amp device. So let's give that a test with the multimeter. The gate and the drain should not be connected. And the source and drain should not be connected. In actual fact, it should be a diode one way around and no connection the other way around. So this MOSFET is well and truly buggered. So if we can find something similar to put in its place, we have probably fix the problem. So I'm going to go look for my parts bin and see if I can find something similar to replace it with. So I've been from my parts bin and I've found this MOSFET. And it's always good whenever you have appliances that break down, you can always nick components out of them and you never know when they come in handy. Like in this case, it seems to be a very similar MOSFET than that one. Um, and of course it's free and it's just simply been removed from something that would have gone in the bin. Bit of recycling. So I think that MOSFET should be okay. Let's see, let's give it a test. See if, there, if there's any shorts in it. 
See, that's the internal diode of the MOSFET. And if I do the opposite polarity, we should get no reading. So I think this diode is probably okay. And that's the reason why I kept it. And I think the polarity, is the, the um, pinout is the same. So uh, let's, uh, let's connect it up and see if the drill comes back to life. Right, that's the MOSFET back. Now, before we screw it back to the heatsink, let's give it a, uh, a quick preliminary test just to see if it works. Let's see if that fixed it. Let's see if there's any magic smoke that comes out. Have a look. Oh, we have speed control. So I think a little dot of um, heat sink compound there, and she's good to go. We've done a successful repair, and it cost us sweet nothing. So only a little dot is needed, it's the tiniest amount. coming out liquid. Let's take the battery out just in case something bad happens. Who says you have to throw everything away each time it breaks, eh? Such a simple little repair. But the spirit levels back in. She's not really behaving all that well. It's a good clicking noise, I like that. Right. Let's put the screws back in. Right, screwdriver bit back in place, battery on, lock and load, let's have a go. What's the lessons learned? Just because it's cheap doesn't mean it has to go in the bin. Thanks for watching. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make or anything interesting that you want me to investigate.